Well everyone, Jawtooth here again. Got some more live action going on. I'm at Idaho Street on the west side of Cincinnati along the Ohio River. And I'm using this new rail fan hiking trail right here. It goes right by the railroad tracks and crosses the tracks. Uh, this video is going to show a CSX train coming from Louisville to Cincinnati and they leave their cut of auto racks that are empties um, over here for the Central Railroad of Indiana to pick up. Central Railroad of Indiana is going to pick these cars up and they're going to go west with them uh, towards Greensburg, Indiana to load them up with new automobiles. So I didn't know what was going on when I was first filming this, but that's, that's what it is. So go ahead and start the video, son, and we'll show the CSX train coming in, leaving their cutter cars, and the Central Railroad of Indiana picking those cars up. So that's pretty neat. A little swap here. Go ahead, start the video. like a second train coming too.
Wow, that was a lot of auto racks, all empties, heading into Queensgate Yard. Thanks for watching, folks. Gotta get out of here. Busy place at times. Okay, there is a second train. Another little CSX train coming by. Looks like a little local here with one engine. There you go, there's some short line locomotives sitting over there. I hate shooting into the sun, but that's the only way to see them. Because they're right there. Pretty awesome. This is actually the Central Railroad of Indiana line right here. And the CSX has both tracks that are in front of me. The two closest tracks for CSX. So that's pretty cool. Hey, check this out, folks. I was just leaving, and they started these two locomotives up there sitting on the siding over here. So I'm going to watch them go by me. They're getting ready to run these things. It's pretty cool. This is on the Central Railroad of Indiana line. It runs parallel to CSX. On the west side of Cincinnati. But wait, there's more.
okay. I figured out what's going on here. Um, those auto racks just came in. I know they came from Louisville. I don't know where they came from before that, but they came from Louisville over here to Cincinnati. And now the Central Railroad of Indiana is picking them up and they're going to take them over to Greensburg, Indiana to load them with more cars. So that's pretty cool. I didn't know what was going on. I just kind of figured it out. So these little commodes were waiting for that CSX train to bring those auto racks in. Now they're going to run around, get on that other track to the left, reverse back and couple on to all those auto racks. The other CSX train went by that local. They usually have a caboose, but I've noticed the last few times I've been here, they haven't used the caboose. So I hope they haven't stopped using caboose. There's all the auto racks down there. See them way in the distance. So they're going to back over there and couple onto those. Then take them to Greensburg. Finally figured it out. So they got to go all the way down that way and switch over on the other track. I filmed so many different railroads. I can't really keep up with what's going on with any given railroad, it's really hard to do. But at least I figured this one out. They had to stop over there just a minute ago for that guy to get off and take the derail off the track. And now they're aligning the switches. Ready to come back this way. He put the derail back on. Fighting the sun, folks. I can't find a good spot without the sun being right in my eyes.
Okay, there you go. Man, I'm shooting right into the sun. I really hate doing that. It's hard to see anything. Uh, I don't know what kind of picture it makes shooting in the sun like this, but I try to avoid that. Had no other options, but that was pretty cool. So the CSX train brought in all those empty auto racks and the Central Railroad of Indiana just now coupled onto them. And they're gonna take them back to the plant in Greensburg, Indiana to be reloaded. That seems pretty efficient though, really. They didn't have to take this train all the way into Queens Gate Yard. That was pretty cool. Thanks for watching, folks. Give me a thumbs up. Well, they've already got this thing hooked up and going. That was quick.
Okay, there you go. They got three-step protection, so they'll be sitting there for a little bit. Okay, that's definitely the end of the video this time. Thanks for watching, everyone. Give me a thumbs up. Watch another video if you have a chance. Every view helps. And we'll see you later. Y'all do that out. Okay, everyone, thanks for watching. That was a pretty cool little swap right there. I didn't know what was going on when I first started filming that, and I had to figure this one out. But that was pretty awesome. So give me a thumbs up for all this effort. And subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Watch another video if you have time. Every view really helps my channel. That train, I was originally going to catch it in Lawrenceburg, Indiana, doing street running. But I got there about 10 minutes too late. I heard them going through town right when I was getting to Indiana. So that was a street runner train that went through Lawrenceburg. Anyways, thanks for watching, folks, and we'll see you later.